Good morning. This is Pastor Tim Wells, pastor of Cross of Christ Lutheran Church in Aurora, Nebraska. Going to read to you today from the book of James, chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways, and if anyone does not stumble on what he says, he is a perfect man, also able to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also. Though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a force is set ablaze by such a small fire, and the tongue is a fire, a world of unrighteousness. The tongue is set among our members, staining the whole body, setting on fire the entire course of life, and set on fire by hell. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless our Lord and Father, and with it we curse people who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers, these things ought not be so. Does a spring pour forth from the same opening both fresh and salt water? Can a fig tree, my brothers, bear olives, or a grapevine produce figs? Neither can a salt pond yield fresh water. I know I have shared these words before uh, from James chapter 3. I'm pretty sure I've done at least one, maybe two video devotions on this text. Here we are again. You know, sometimes uh, the areas in which we struggle, which means I admit that I struggle with this myself. These are the areas that we sometimes need to focus on and return to these, these words of scripture again and again. Uh, last night, uh, we had a meeting as one of our boards, and we had a representative from the district uh, helping us work on a few things uh, in one of our boards. And one of the things that he talked about was communication. And this is pretty much how he opened his presentation. He said, you know, in our meetings, we want to make sure that we're always talking to and with, never about and around. Well, that really stuck with me, and I wrote it down on paper. Because how often am I guilty? How often are any of us guilty of talking about people instead of talking to or with people? Even at meetings, I've noticed at times we talk around people. We'll talk about someone who's sitting right next to us instead of asking them how they feel. It is so easy for us to let the tongue take over like a poison. And especially when there's a conflict or difficulty in a relationship, instead of talking with that person and listening to that person, we instead talk about them and just make the problem worse. And I'll admit, I am so guilty of this. This is something I desperately want to work on for myself. And I pray uh, if you see yourself struggling in this area, instead of defending the bad habit, that you too would seek to work on it. James tells us that we all struggle with this. No man has successfully tamed the tongue, except for one. That would be Jesus. Remember when Jesus is before Pontius Pilate, before the high priest, before Herod, for the most part, what does he do? He says nothing. He tames his tongue and says nothing for your sake. He refuses to defend himself, instead willingly going to the cross to die for you, to die for your sins. Jesus' tamed tongue takes him to the cross, where he pays the penalty for all the times your tongue is far from tame. Thanks be to God, we have such a loving 
Savior who has died for us, who has forgiven us, who has risen, has won for us the gift of eternal life. As we now seek to live as his dear children, to live out that life that he has won for us, we now seek to turn to him for forgiveness every time that we fail to tame that tongue and seek his help through the work of the Holy Spirit as we are made holy in his name, as we seek to tame our tongues and live according to his will. Let's pray. Lord God, Heavenly Father, Lord, we confess that we are often guilty of living with untamed tongues and talking about and around others instead of talking to and with to resolve conflict, to love, to forgive. Lord, we pray that you would forgive us every time we have done this, every time we have slandered or hurt another brother or sister in Christ. And Lord, we thank you for your great forgiveness for all of our sins to your son who died on the cross for us. Teach us, Lord, now to live as your dear children. Teach us, Lord, to tame our tongues and to seek only to use words that build one another up. In your name we pray. Amen. Pray God's blessings on your day. Um, as you struggle with this text or any text of scripture that you're reading, any sin that you're struggling with right now, I, I pray that you would find comfort and peace in knowing Christ and knowing his forgiveness and the life that only he can give. And that you would seek his grace, his mercy, as through the work of the Holy Spirit, you are made holy and seek to become more and more like him. Amen.